Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up and Airbrush. I'm Olivia, makeup expert here at Luminous, and we are here for you Monday through Friday, 1030 Central Time to get ready together, start, get you started with airbrush and answer any questions you may have. So let's get started. As you guys can see, I will be using the Breeze today, our newest cordless airbrush system. And first, I'm going to start off with blush. I use blush before my foundation when I do airbrush because I like more of a softer look. You can do it after as if you would for traditional makeup, but I just like to do it before. So only need one to two drops. Okay. Perfect. So natural looking. I love it. See that? Perfect. Maybe we want a little, little tiny bit more. Hello, Veronica. Good morning. Okay, perfect. So now that we got, I'm gonna take, make sure all my blush is out of my system. Cool. And now I'm going to use foundation. I'm Today I'm using Rose 4-in-1. So I'm in between shades. So I use shades two and three. So I'll be putting um, about three drops of each in my system. Veronica said, how are things up there in Texas? Everything is pretty much back to normal now. Thank you for asking. Sorry that we weren't here for a few days. We were all just getting settled back in to the swing of things. Um, I know it affected uh, other people, some people more than others, but um, we are okay over here at Luminess. So I hope that everybody else is getting back to normal and everyone's doing okay so we can all get ready together again. All right, so I am putting my finger over the hole and pulling back on the trigger to mix in those two different foundation shades that I put in. All right, and now we're gonna start applying. Hello, Pam on YouTube. And Kimberly said, well, that's neat. That made a hand, they made a handheld version. Yes, this is our Breeze airbrush. It is so easy to use and so convenient for trips so you don't have to bring your whole system with you um and it's just it's so comfortable in your hands it couldn't be easier honestly for every reason all right so i'm just doing one lap around my face covering all my imperfections Making sure I'm even. Always keeping that system moving, guys. You wanna make sure you're keeping it four fingers away. Always keep it moving. And lightly, lightly pulling back on that trigger. And make sure to always get your neck for that natural shade fade. All right. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more pass around my face. So I'm gonna add a little bit more foundation into my system. Um, so yeah, so this is what I recommend to do guys, instead of just focusing on one area to do one pass and then go back around the second time, because if you focus on one area, it can look cakey and uneven. Um, and that is what we don't want. So we want to make sure that we're have an even skin tone all over and we're looking good. Okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Wanna blend in my blush. Beautiful. Okay. So I think we're all set with my 
face. Look how flawless. Look how easy that was. That beautiful natural blush. You got to love it. Good morning, Judy. All right. So moving on to eyes, I'm going to use one of my faves, the Nude and Naughty palette. Look at all of these amazing, beautiful shades that you get all in one palette, guys. You can't beat it. It's amazing. You can accomplish any look that you want. One palette. Okay, so I'm going to start off by putting a shimmer shade on my lid. Tapping that in. So pigmented, which makes it so much easier to apply. You don't have to use, you don't have to use a lot of product, which is amazing. So it will last you forever. Okay. Look at that shimmer. Gorgeous. Love it. Okay, next eye. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Judy said she loves the Nude and Naughty palette. I do too. Judy, what is your favorite kind of look to do with the Nude and Naughty palette? Are you more of a neutral kind of girl or do you like more fierce and bold looks? What is your go-to, the Nude and Naughty? Okay, so now I'm taking my blending brush and I'm going to use a tan shade a matte shade in my crease and blend that in. Beautiful. Love it. Blending and we're blending. Perfect. Okay, gorgeous. Love it. Oh, Judy likes a very bold and wild look. She loves being different. Good for you. That's awesome. So now to finish off my eye look, I'm going to use Persuasion Liquid Eyeliner. And I don't look the most attractive when I do my eyeliner, guys, so bear with me. I also can't talk while I do my eyeliner. I'm not a good multitasker with it, so excuse me for a second. Perfect. So we got our liner on. I love this liquid eyeliner. It is so easy to use. And again, the color is so pigmented. So you don't have to, have you ever had a, a liquid eyeliner that you really have to like squeeze out that liquid color because it's just fades so easily? Hate that. Not with this. The Persuasion eyeliner is amazing. Um, okay. So now I'm going to use my favorite mascara of all time, Distraction Mascara. Good morning, Leslie. How are you? She said, can you wave? Of course I can wave. Hello. Thank you for coming. All right. I just love this mascara adds so, so much length and volume to my lashes. It really does. So easily too, effortlessly to die for lashes. Look at the difference. Crazy, right? And the other eye, and then we're almost done, guys. Perfect. Ta-da! 
Good morning, Cindy. Okay, so now for lips, last but definitely not least, I'm going to use our lip jelly. So this is a plumper and it gives you that great tingly feeling and the color is just absolutely beautiful. It matches with everything. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you all so much for getting ready with me today. I hope you're all loving your systems and having so much fun playing around with it and having your flawless Friday look. Well, have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see you on Monday.